Mom? Lisa, honey, what are you doing here? I thought you were over at Cheyenne's house. No, um, Cheyenne couldn't play today. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Honey, it's okay. You'll, you'll have plenty of opportun other opportunities to play. That's not it. Well, then what's wrong? Why are you crying? I... Nothing. Honey, are you sure there's nothing you want to talk about? No, I'm fine. I'm just going to go in my room. Well, let me know if you want to talk. I will. Something's up. <laughs> Asia, what are you doing back so soon? I thought you were going to spend the day with Cheyenne. No. She had other plans. Okay. It's time for me to step in. What are you talking about? I know you're upset. And this isn't just about Cheyenne having other plans. You, you would never cry over something like that. Want to tell me what's wrong? Forget it. Look, you can't do anything about it anyway. How do you know that? Because you just can't. And even if you did, it make things worse. Now you really have to tell me what's going on. And I'm not going to leave you alone until you do. I just don't get it. You don't get what? I'm tired of this on again, off again friendship me and Sh Cheyenne have. Uh oh, what did you guys fight about this time? That's just it. I don't know what I did wrong. Well, what did Cheyenne say to you that made you think that she thinks she did something wrong? Well, I went over to her house, rang the doorbell, and she opened the door. And I said hi, and she goes, go away, I don't trust you. And then she slammed the door on my face. So I just walked home. You mean they didn't try to talk to her or anything? Thought that would make things worse. I mean, I, I tried to stop her from slamming the door on my face. And I said, well, what's going on? What are you talking about? And she wouldn't answer. She just says, you know what you did. And she slammed the door on my face. I don't know what I did wrong. I don't think you did anything wrong. Why don't you try giving Cheyenne a call? No way, she just hang up the phone on me. If she could slam the door on my face, she could certainly hang the phone up for me. Would you like me to try to straighten things out? I mean, me and Cheyenne kind of know each other too. Well, I guess you can't make it any worse than it already is, so just do what you want. I don't care. Look, it's either you want me to help you or not. I can use all the help I can get right now. I just don't understand what's going on. But don't worry. I'll come and save the day. Where's my phone? There it is. Boop, 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 boop. Mm. 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 Hello? Hey, Cheyenne. It's... It's Whitney. Are you saying not Asia just calling? No, this really is Whitney. Oh, hi Whitney. Hey, do you want to come over and hang out? I don't know, will your sister be here? Um, yes yeah, she will, but you and I can hang out together. I don't think so. Come on, please. I hardly know you and I really want to get to know you. Fine, I'll come over, but don't expect me to make up with Asia or anything. What happened between you and you and Asia? It's kind of a private thing that I really don't want to discuss. Okay, whatever. Um, come over when you can, okay? I'll be right over. Okay, bye. Bye. Whitney, what did you just do? Trust me. Always trust that your twin sister has a plan. A good one that never fails. Yeah, and how many good plans have you had that passed? Believe me, I know what I'm doing. I'm going to have to believe you. Because I know what it feels like not to be trusted by somebody you really like.
Look, don't worry. We'll fix this. Hope so. I don't know about this, Whitney. Trust me. You'll thank me for this later. Come in. Hey, Whitney. Hey, Cheyenne. You remember my sister, Asia? Yeah, whatever. So, um, what are you doing on your computer? I'm going on. Oh, my goodness. Look at the time. I got to go set the table for dinner. Um, why don't you and Asia spend some time together? I have nothing to say to her. Well, then just play something together. Do something. I got to go away and help Mom. Bye. Something tells me we've been set up. Yeah, I guess so. <sighs> Listen, I want to know what's going on. How come you don't trust me? What did I do? You know what you did. If I knew what I did, I would have wouldn't have done it, and I would And even if I did do whatever you say I'm doing, I would have at least apologized and tried to make things right. But how can I promise not to do anything again if I don't know what it is? Naomi told me that you were kissing my boyfriend at the mall. What? No, I wasn't. So Naomi lied. Obviously. I wouldn't do that to you. I hardly know the guy. Why would I kiss him? He's not even my type. So you didn't... You didn't kiss him or anything? No, I hardly even know who he is. I don't even know him very well. This is what this whole fight is about? Because of something somebody else told you about me? Why didn't you just ask me instead of getting mad at me right away? I'm sorry, Asia. I should have trusted you. I, I've known you since the day I moved in. I, I'm sorry. You should be. I can't believe this. I was always thinking that I did something wrong. Every time we fight, I'm the one that has to apologize. But now it's your turn to apologize. I'm sorry. I really am. I didn't mean to hurt you. Well, you did hurt me. Is there any way I can make it up to you? I don't know. Apologizing helps. But I'm really not ready to be best friends with you yet. We lost something today, Cheyenne. Can't we ever get it back? Maybe. With a little work, we'll get it back. Eventually. But right now, I just don't want to talk to you. I'm sure you know how it feels to have someone not want to talk to you. Yeah. I really am sorry. You can go now. Hey, Asia. Hey. Um, Shana called the house phone a few times. You mean Cheyenne? Yeah, sorry, Cheyenne. You know her better than I do. No, it turns out I don't know as much as I thought I did. What? Yeah, I've been meaning to leave you alone for a while, even after Cheyenne left. She left really upset. What did you say to her? Maybe people should get off my case for once in their lives. Look, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to make it sound like I was on your case. I just meant, like, what happened between you guys? Like, what is Cheyenne accusing you of doing? She accused me of kissing her boyfriend at the mall when I hardly even know her boyfriend. Well, why would she accuse you of that? Because this girl Naomi has it in for me. Who's Naomi? <sighs> this girl in my choir class. She... She doesn't like me because I became friends with Cheyenne. So she tried to break me and Cheyenne up. At least I'm pretty sure that's what she's doing because... <sighs> wow. You know, in a way, I'm glad that you brought 
Cheyenne here because at least I know why she was mad at me. But now I'm angry at her because I can't believe she would think for a second that I would kiss her boyfriend, especially behind her back. Did she apologize? Yeah, Cheyenne apologized. But I'm still angry. Well, is being angry going to change the situation in any way? No. Look, I don't blame you for being angry. But think how you felt when you thought that Cheyenne was angry at you. What's your point? <sighs> My point is that giving people a taste of their own medicine isn't always the answer. Call her and talk to her. Speak reasonably to her. I can't stand to see you losing a friend, especially over a guy. Believe me, I've been there. Okay, can you give me some privacy? Of course. Dinner's almost ready anyway, so I'll just go set the table and, um, do you want me to keep your dinner, do you want me and mom to keep your dinner warm in the oven for you while you talk to Cheyenne? Yeah, please. What are we having anyway? Your favorite, fried chicken and fries. Okay, I'll be there in a few minutes. You sure you're going to be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay. <sighs> hey, Cheyenne. Hey. Did you call to make up with me? Yeah. I'm sorry I got so mad at you. You had every right to be mad at me. I mean, I did accuse you of doing something you would never do just because, of, just because of a girl you don't like. Spread a rumor about her. Yeah, I'm really hurt by that, but no offense, but I'm not like you. I don't hold grudges in forever. I didn't accuse you of doing something. It's actually Naomi's fault we had to fight. Not necessarily yours and definitely not my fault. I know. I talked to Naomi. You did? Why? I talked to her and told her off. You did? Yeah. She deserved it, so now she won't mess with us. I stuck up for you. Well, I really appreciate that. Do you forgive me now? <laughs> yeah, I forgive you. I mean, it's just a whole, it's just a stupid rumor that Naomi spread. Yeah, well, I told her mother what happened and she's been punished. Naomi's mother's been punished? No, Naomi's punished. Oh, okay. I'm really sorry I didn't believe you. I should have told you right from the beginning what was going on. Yeah, you should have, because it really hurt me when you slammed the door in my face. I know, and I'm sorry. I forgive you. Let's just put the past in the past and bury it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Can I come over Saturday night? Maybe we could have a sleepover. Yeah, but on one condition. Name it. Whitney can be in the sleepover too. Great. It'll be the three of us. Okay. Do you want to have it here or do you want to have it in, um, at your house? No offense, but your house is kind of small, so I'll have it on my ass. Okay, great. I'll ask Mom, but I'm sure it'll be okay. All right. Well, thanks for calling. You called me. <laughs> Sorry. Well, thanks for not hanging up on me. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, I gotta go. I gotta go eat dinner. All right. Call me tonight, okay? I will. Okay, bye. Bye.